It started, it always started very young for me. Peter has always had big goals, a top student since elementary school with a passion for robotics. The competitive environment that that fostered, I think, uh, really created some anxiety for me that I had to deal with more going into my high school career. He says that anxiety was debilitating. Your heart might start beating really fast, you get shortness of breath, and you can't really think that feeling of always not quite being comfortable when I'm at home, when I'm at school, it just, it's exhausting. In high school, he says to cope, he would keep himself as busy as possible. I was maybe working, uh, you know, eight hours a day doing robotics, academics. Um, I also had a job. I would work as a dishwasher. The schedule eventually triggering burnout and spiking his anxiety to the point where he says it made him physically ill. I was getting sick at school and you know, they'd be repeatedly sending me home. But since the sickness I was feeling was coming off of anxiety, I wasn't getting better. I, w I was scared and I was, um, and yet I had to just keep going. Peter's mom, Wendy, says she felt helpless trying to find solutions. There were very few therapists available. It was day after day after day of just not feeling like I was doing enough. Wendy was eventually able to get Peter referred to the McLean Anxiety Mastery Program, or MAMP, an intensive outpatient treatment program designed to give kids a year's worth of therapy in a span of several weeks. The goal is to give families the tools to fight back against anxiety. It's very important for parents to recognize that school refusal is a crisis. Dr. Meredith Elkins is the director of MAMP and says the number of kids in her program struggling with emotional school avoidance and refusal due to anxiety has doubled since the pandemic, and there are signs to watch for. So if your child is complaining of headaches, if they're complaining of stomach aches or nausea or just not feeling well, when you and your kid are arguing about school every day and you're feeling like you are really struggling to come up with a strategy to actually get them into the building, I would reach out for help. Dr. Elkin says one of the tools they use is exposure therapy. The more we avoid something, the worse it becomes. And exposure really turns that dynamic on its head by encouraging kids to gradually start facing their fears. For Peter, he says the program turned everything around. I think it really did change the trajectory of my high school experience. The support that they gave me, I think, really did make the difference of getting through that senior year. It gave me Peter back, you know, and it gave Peter Peter back. It's not like my worries are gone. Um, it's not like Peter's anxiety is gone, but I feel like he had, with the MEMP program, got the tools that he needed finally. Now, Peter is doing great. He graduated from high school. He's away at college right now, applying the skills he learned at MAMP uh, to this new chapter. Dr. Elkins, you saw there, says the best advice you can give parents is to not dismiss your child's anxiety as a phase and make sure there's structure at home so it motivates kids to do the hard work to make it back to class. We put more information on the MAMP program. It's on our website, WCVB.com, and, of course, on our mobile app.